Yo, so uh, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about the sort method in JavaScript. The sort method is used to sort elements of an array in place. However, with the sort method, we sort elements as strings in lexicographic order, not alphabetical. If I could summarize what lexicographic means, it means alphabet plus numbers plus symbols as strings. Let me give you an example with just alphabetical characters. I have an array of fruits. To sort this array, I can take the array name fruits, use the built-in sort method, then console.log my array of fruits. Let me expand this. And here's my array, all sorted. When sorting, we treat any elements as strings. What if my array were numbers? I'll add the numbers 1 through 10 in a somewhat random order. Let's change our array to be numbers, numbers.sort, console.log numbers. Here's the result. We have 1, then 10, then the rest seem to be in order. We're not sorting this array numerically, we're sorting this array lexicographically. We're treating each of these numbers as strings. That's why we have 1, then 10. 10 isn't at the end where we expect it would be. There's a couple extra steps we need to do involving sorting numbers. Inside of the sort method, we have to write a custom comparison function. This is normally a callback, but you can write a function expression, or even better yet, an arrow function. We'll write an arrow function in this case. Let me zoom in. With an arrow function, we first need parameters. We'll have parameters A and B. We'll examine two contiguous elements. 1, then 10, 10, then 2, 2, then 9, 9, and 3, so on and so forth. Then we need an arrow. Then we'll write a minus b. Our function a minus b will return either a negative, zero, or positive value, depending on what values we're examining. The sort method will sort those values into place depending on what the value returned is. Our array should be sorted. You can see that 10 is at the end, instead of right after 1. For reverse order, you could say b minus a. Now we're starting with 10 and ending with 1. You can even sort objects by a given property. Let's go over that example. We will create an array of people. Const people equals, this will be an array, will include four objects, all comma separated. The first will have a name property of SpongeBob. age, 30, and a GPA. GPA, 3.0. I'm going to zoom out. For the next object, I'm just going to put that on a new line. Let's copy all of these properties. Change name to be Patrick. Age will be 37. GPA, 1.5. Again, for the next object, we will have Squidward age 51, GPA 2.5. Then lastly, we'll have Sandy. Name Sandy. Let's make Sandy 27. GPA, of course, it's going to be a 4.0. I would like to sort this array of objects by each person's age. We'll take our array of objects that's stored within people use the built-in sort method, use our arrow function, a comma b, arrow, we'll take parameter a, that's person one, dot access their age property, minus parameter b, access their age property. And that's all you gotta do. Now let's console dot log our people. There we are. We have Sandy, who's the youngest, then SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward. For reverse order, you'll just change A to be B and B to be A. Squidward, Patrick, SpongeBob, Sandy. Or we can sort by a different property. Let's do GPA this time. A.GPA, B.GPA. 
we have Patrick with the lowest GPA, followed by Squidward, SpongeBob, Sandy. Then reverse order would be B.GPA minus A.GPA. Sandy, SpongeBob, Squidward, Patrick. Let's try sorting by the name property and see what happens. A.name minus B.name. We have SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, but that doesn't seem to make sense. These aren't in alphabetical order. If you need to sort by a property that contains a string within an object, there's a different formula. We will take a.name. Use the built in local compare method compare to b.name. This method will examine two strings for lexicographic order. Now these are all arranged lexicographically, starting with Patrick, then Sandy, SpongeBob, Squidward. For reverse lexicographic order, we would take b.name.localCompare, then examine a.name. I've just now realized that there's a lot of SpongeBob characters whose first name starts with an S, like we have three right here. Squidward, SpongeBob, Sandy, Patrick. Alright everybody, so that is the sort method. It's used to sort elements of an array in place. It sorts elements as strings in lexicographic order, not alphabetical. And well everybody, that is the sort method in JavaScript.